the highest voiced member of the string family. And just like the other string instruments, the violin makes sound by pulling the hair of the bow across the string like this. You can also make sound on the violin by plucking the string with your finger like this. And that's called pizzicato. The violin can play beautiful melodies and it can also play fast short notes like this. The violin is so versatile. in the string family and it's so important because it's the glue of the string orchestra. It looks a lot like the violin but when you look closely you can see that the viola is a bit bigger and it has a lower voice than the violin. The viola has a C string. Just like the other string instruments you make a sound on the viola by pulling the bow across the string or using your finger to do pizzicato. often equated to and accompanied by the human voice. It often plays a tenor role in the orchestra. It's a little bit lower than the viola and it's about an octave higher than the double bass. So the way of producing sound on the cello is by drawing the bow across the strings. And there is another way of producing sound as well, which is called pizzicato, which is plucking. The cello is used in a lot of different music all over the world, and it's incredibly fun to play. My name is Nathan with Milano Music. You just heard me playing the double bass. I was playing a piece called The Elephant, the lowest instrument in the orchestra. So the bass has been used in orchestras for hundreds of years, and it's gone on to be used in lots of smaller ensembles. When jazz music came around, they needed a bass voice, a bass instrument, and this is what they chose. After jazz came a genre called rock and roll, which continues to use the bass today. Here's one you may recognize. Hi, Cody Phillips with Milano Music, and today we're going to take a look at the flute. The flute is one of the oldest instruments, and as a member of the woodwind family, has the highest voice. The flute is often tasked with playing beautiful melodies, and you can hear it in classical music, marching music, jazz and Latin music, and music from all over the world. With its flexibility and high pitch, the flute often mimics bird songs.
The clarinet's a member of the woodwind family. It's able to play loud and soft with lots of different tonal colors. And I believe because of that, it's used in virtually every style of music today. Hi, I'm Cody and I play the saxophone. The saxophone is a member of the woodwind family and it's one of the newer members of the wind ensemble. Being invented in 1846, it was designed to combine the power of a brass instrument with the versatility of a woodwind instrument. That versatility makes the saxophone a lot of fun to play and it's at home in the wind ensemble and it's also one of the prominent members of the jazz band. <laughs> And that's the saxophone. The trumpet is an extremely versatile instrument and it traces its origins way back to ancient times. It was utilized to announce kings and queens and also to direct armies. It's used all over the world and there's so much fun stuff for us to play. And we get to play a lot of things that are fun on the trumpet because we play a lot of melodies. The trumpet is used in marching band, jazz band, orchestra, concert band, pop groups, Latin groups. It's really great at playing jazz and rhythm and blues. you just heard was the sound of the horn or the French horn. The horn traces its origins back all the way to when people used animal horns that were hollowed out to create calls. Ultimately, it evolved into the instrument you see today. It's a very big instrument with lots of tubing and it has an incredible register. Because of its versatility, it's used in all kinds of groups all throughout the world. That introduction that you just heard was from a beautiful Mozart melody that is played by the trombone in a symphony orchestra, but maybe you'd rather play in a jazz band or Dixieland band. Or maybe you just want to play something when mom isn't home. It's the only instrument that has the slide where you can do glissandos. No other instrument can do this. The euphonium can most commonly be found in wind bands playing counter melodies or beautiful soaring solos. In the United States, the terms baritone and euphonium are often used interchangeably. They are very similar but separate instruments, with the baritone being slightly smaller and more commonly started on by younger students.
Drums are the oldest instruments on the planet. They date back thousands of years to the time of cavemen. The way that a snare drum works, right here, you can take those snares off and get a different sound. Put them back on. Once you have a basic understanding of snare drum and basic understanding of rhythmic concepts, you'll be able to play any of these percussion instruments. The bell kit is a keyboard instrument. And once you learn how to play the bell kit and have a basic understanding of how to read music, you can play any keyboard instrument, like marimba, vibraphone, or xylophone. On the snare drum, you learn rhythmic proficiency, whereas on the bell kit, you learn melodic proficiency and how to read melodic music.